What is up guys, I'm back. <clears throat> I'm here to talk a little E3 with you. So, so far <clears throat> in E3, um, there's been a lot of big things that have come out as of the last few weeks. It sounds like the um, Square Enix Marvel Avengers game will appear, and it sounds like Saints Row 5 will appear, but I'm here to talk about the two ones that I'm the most excited about. So if you haven't heard, THQ Nordic released a quote that we will be revealing a game at E3 that is galactically loved by fans. End quote. When I heard that, there was only one thing that came to my mind at that point, and that was that Destroy All Humans is getting a new game. Now, I know two games have already been leaked for THQ Nordic's press conference, and that is um, a Red Faction game and what's the other one? Red Faction and Darksiders, a new Darksiders, Darksiders 4? <sighs> I think, sorry I'm tired, but anyway, I do think mainly due to this quote because no one, everyone did think that Destroy All Humans was going to be at E3 and then Red Faction got released and everyone thought that maybe that was their game and it just, I think THQ is going to have a big press conference with Destroy All Humans and Darksiders in a new Red Faction, but just because they said a galactically beloved game immediately, like they, I feel like that was the big hint put in there, saying, hey, this is what it is, this is what it's going to be, and that is what you think. Do you think that was enough, guys, for them to reveal that Destroy All Humans will be at E3 20? 19 let me know in the comments down below let me know and if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more be sure to hit like smash subscribe and comment whatever you'd like below i will be back with more e3 news see you later